Hello everyone, welcome to Art of Homemaking. In this video, I am going to show you how I made special Indian Valentine's Day Thali which can be done under 16 minutes. With little meal prep, you can make it all, you can make all the recipes very easily. So I made an appetizer, one veg curry, one non-veg curry, chutney, raita and two desserts. So here is the menu, cashew chicken, beetroot chutney, mushroom gravy, beetroot raita, jeera rice, rubber recipe and chocolate brown. So this is the picture of complete meal cook, for the chicken, sushi, one cup, sugar, one cup, cup milk, one cup, 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 Lachi powder and saffron for color. So for the brownies I used instant brownie mix. So I just followed the instructions from the packet. And for ape or panyar, so I used dosa batter and Beetroot chutney, uh, beetroot pieces, green beets, beetroot leaves. I added green beetroot leaves also, but it is optional. Green chilies, coriander, red chilies, garlic, and this is for beetroot raita. Uh, finely chopped beetroot and uh, curd or yogurt, and for and all the tadka ingredients: chana dal, urad dal. Cumin seeds, mustard seeds, red chilli powder, uh, turmeric salt and uh, masala powder. Urad dal and hing. So this is the final uh, meal prep uh, for these recipes. So you can make a day before uh, if you don't have time on that day. So let's start the process. So I am boiling mushroom in water for mushroom gravy. Inside uh, I have a kadai and added some oil. Roasting so red chilies for beetroot chutney. And it is done I roasted garlic as well so now I am adding chana dal urad dal cumin seeds and roasting these as well and took some oil and finally adding my beetroot pieces for the chutney so side i have other pan so i am adding some coconut oil so it is completely optional you can use any oil so adding onions and also checking my beetroot and my mushrooms are almost done so now I am making brownies for brownies I took two eggs and water and oil I am beating it and I added a brownie mix to it and my brownie batter is ready now and now I am going to put that in the oven now I am making instant microwave kesari so I mixed milk and water and I microwave it 
for one minute so once it is done I will add suji and ghee sugar so I marinated chicken by adding all the spices along with poppy seed and coconut flakes paste and kept it overnight in the refrigerator if you can't do it overnight at least uh, marinate it and keep it at least for one hour in the refrigerator so that all the spices get coated very well and it out from microwave oven and added some ghee and suji to it so add ghee first and then add suji to avoid any lumps and mix it thoroughly I'm checking my chicken curry add I'm adding some water if add some water if it is uh, too dry and I'm adding uh, sugar to my kesari and mixing well adding finely chopped beet in another bowl this is for beetroot raita and giving some little water to it and cook it thoroughly so once beetroot pieces are cooked this is for chutney I'm adding uh, beetroot leaves to it so it doesn't take much long for leaves to cook so that's why I'm adding at the last so chicken curry is almost cooked so if you feel you have a lot of water just keep the lid open and cook it for a while until it becomes dry so finally I'm adding some ghee to it this is optional if you want you can add extra ghee I'm adding some ilachi powder mixing it well and adding saffron I'm not using any food coloring to get uh, red color to the kesari I'm just adding saffron if you wish you can add food coloring to it so using a mold I'm making a heart shape so in a pan I took some coconut oil cinnamon, ilachi and cloves so this is for mushroom gravy so lightly roasting it adding onions to it and chicken curry is almost done yeah, meanwhile I'm checking my beetroot salt ginger garlic paste tomatoes and finally adding boiled mushrooms to it mix well salt red chilli powder turmeric and some garam masala powder so chicken is done so I am adding cashews, coriander and green chillies adding some water to it and cook it for some time close, close the lid and cook it for some time so these are the roasted dals and red chillies for uh, beetroot chutney so make coarse powder don't make it uh, so soft make coarse powder so this is the secret ingredient for the beetroot chutney it gives lot of uh, flavor to the chutney so adding uh, beetroot and beetroot leaves salt and little bit of tamarind and water and make a paste of it so mushroom curry is done adding some cream to it so this is optional instead of that you can add milk also so beetroot chutney is ready so 
so boiled beetroot is ready and adding it to curd wait until it cools down and add it to the curd some salt so i am doing tadka with coconut oil here because uh, coconut oil and the combination of coconut oil and beetroot goes very well so many people don't like beetroot because of this of the color but trust me these two recipes are very tasty so adding dal uh, red chilies curry leaves and hing so don't forget to add hing it gives lot of flavor to both of these recipes so finally adding the tempting to beetroot chutney as well as beetroot raita after tempering is done close it with a lid for some time so finally i am doing my appetizer here so i added some oil to the appam pan and pouring my dosa batter here i already mixed onions green chilies and coriander cumin seeds in in the batter so cover it for some time once they are half done flip it over and cook it well so finally everything is done and uh, this is for uh, zira rice i have some leftover rice so i'm using this rice to make zira rice you can make uh, fresh rice also so adding some zira cumin seeds green chilies and little bit of coriander don't add too much coriander to it so so finally adding rice so finally my brownie brownies are done so i am making the heart shapes using a heart shape mold so everything is done i arranged on the table actually it took me 1 hour 10 minutes to finish everything so with little, with little preparation even you can do it please try every, all the recipes and let me know in the comment section how it turned out so my appetizer and rava kesari beetroot raita cashew chicken mushroom gravy beetroot chutney zira rice decorated rava kesari with uh, tutti frutti and strawberries and chocolate brownies that's it guys happy valentines day if you like this video please subscribe share it to your friends and i'll see you soon with a new video thanks for watching bye bye